Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside and this week's nursery tour. We've got some fun things to share with you. Uh, first of all, we are starting the buy one, get one free sale on all annuals here at the Garden Center. Online people, we have a special headed your way very soon. Right, well, what we're talking about right now though is here at the Garden Center in Dallas, North Carolina, Zone 8A. Uh, we do these nursery tours so that you can see what is growing, blooming, and thriving in real time here at the nursery. We would love to see you Wednesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Y'all, it's hot. Come early. <laughs> Don't be rolling in here at 2.30 in the afternoon. You're going to die of a heat stroke. The early bird gets the worm, especially with this buy one, get one free sale on all annuals, right? Repeat after me, annuals, buy one, get one free. So we're going to go through the, uh, the garden center, kind of show you some of the great options that are available to you. It is also a perfect time to be planting perennials and shrubs that love the heat, right? Those heat loving, thriving, the hotter, the more humid it is, the more they are happy and they thrive. So I'm going to show you some of this because CC had gone up to the production and has um, the back of the Kubota filled with those types of perennials. So I'm going to share them with you now. <clears throat> Salvia, one of my all time, if not my all time favorite perennial salvia is pink profusion. You can see that it is in a gorgeous display of blooms. Now pink profusion salvias, they do love the sun, right? This is going to be a little bit on the shorter side, 14 to 16 inches. It is hardy in zones three to eight. Even though I am an 8A, this really uh, thrives in our garden and does a beautiful display, especially in the early spring. You can shear it back after it blooms and it will flush out again. Great, nice, strong, sturdy. It is not floppy and you get a beautiful display of pink flowers, especially if you can plant them say maybe like three together, five together, whatever your garden allows. This is a beautiful one to do that with. Now, Russian sage. Russian sage is notoriously uh, famous for loving hot, dry areas. So when you've got an area that does not get a ton of irrigation, this is what you want. This is denim and lace, and denim and lace is gonna be about 28 to 32 inches tall. It has a beautiful like silver blue foliage on it with those really pure, uh, well, you know, sometimes they say in blue, but kind of a bluey purple kind of a flower to it. It has a beautiful fragrance to it, which means that it's going to be more deer rabbit resistant. This is hardy in zones four to nine, extremely adaptable to all sorts of different kinds of gardens. It is the perfect addition in those hot, dry areas. This is when you want to plant this plant. You don't want to plant it in the middle of the winter. You want to plant it now. This is its active growing season. Those roots that you see coming out of the bottom of the pot, they are going to take off and be very happy. This is a great addition to your hot, uh, hot, hot garden. Now, also echinacea. Echinaceas and rudbeckias. These are going to be another great addition to your garden this time of year. In fact, I said the other day when I was up at the chicken coop that I was done planting, and I told Jerry, I was like, you know, I might go ahead and add some of those echinaceas, rudbeckias, those kinds of things, because it is the perfect time to do it. I may be hot while I'm, while I'm planting, but the plants are going to thrive. Now, what we have here, this is the color-coded, the fuchsia is bright. Now, on your echinacea, you're going to have different blooms at different times. Fuchsia is bright, will give you obviously beautiful pink flowers. As it grows and blooms, you're going to have older blooms, newer blooms, and you're going to have fresh buds. If the older blooms bother you, you can snap them off. That is not a problem. Or you can leave them, let the seed heads dry, and you're going to have lots of birds coming to your garden because they love to eat on it. 20 to 22 inches tall, not, not huge, right? It's not overwhelming, depending on your garden. It could be in the front or it could be in the middle. This is hardy in zones four to eight, big fuchsia blooms. I have this in the berm right now and it is stunning. It is gorgeous. 
perfect time of the year to plant your echinacea. A new one kind of for us um, and again I have it in the berm and I have it in the signature garden. Y'all, Tuscan Gold Heliopsis. Look how beautiful this is. Heliopsis, right? Sunflower. This is a perennial sunflower and it gives you these massive, very bright, very bold gold flowers, continuous bloomer. Mine are blooming now in the berm and they will continue to go throughout the entire growing season. This is a lovely plant that's going to get a little bit of height to it, 24 to 32 inches tall. Again, depending on your garden will depend on where you put it in your flower bed. It is hardy in zones of four to nine. Very showy perennial, sunny yellow flowers, perfect for the garden, very compact, very upright. So it's more of a columnar habit. Um, and so that will bring a different whole nother level to your garden as far as the form. So maybe you have this really nice, big, bold statement coming up columnar habit. Maybe you come back in front with some of those uh, buy one get one free annuals. I'm thinking like mini vista indigo, right? Something of a purple of a blue color in front of this. Oh, it would be magnificent. So these perennials are here. We're going to be putting them out today. Um, and so you can come and shop the perennials while you're shopping the buy one get one free annuals sale. Um, can I just stop for a moment because I just have to do this. Um, look at this y'all. We have got um, the red hot pokers, right? So this is Nephophia. Nephophia is a red hot poker and this is part of that Pyromania series. Look how beautiful they are. I mean, they are just loving life. I had a lot of people ask me, they're like, mine bloomed once and then it stopped. What's wrong? A couple of things could be happening. I have found consistent water. These need consistent water. If they get dry, they're going to stop blooming. If they get consistent water, then you're going to have consistent flowers. These are not on irrigation. But right behind us, we have, you know, product that's here that have to be watered. As that gets watered, that comes down, trickles down, and then goes ahead and waters these. You can deadhead them, right? It encourages more blooms. As your flowers get done, go ahead and just cut those stalks off. They will be great. And then, y'all, hibiscuses are beginning to bloom. We're going to come over here. Here we are, the end of June, and tis the season for hibiscus here in North Carolina. So this is Evening Rose. There are three of them here, Summerific, Evening Rose, from Proven Winners, right? And you can see, so I'm five foot two to give you kind of an, an idea. Uh, and this is, I would say, every very close to being five foot, just a little bit less beautiful bright pink pink colors on um, those flowers and there are three of them here they are just beginning i saw in the berm holy grail was blooming we've got um, i see some like some spinderellas all sorts of things now if you want to add some horrific hibiscus again perfect time to add these plants they love the heat they love the humidity you're just going to have to kind of keep an eye on the water with them because if you're local, you know it just stopped raining, right? We got all of our rain in May and then it just stopped in June. We've had no rain really in June whatsoever. So for the first couple of weeks, you're going to have to make sure they get some consistent water, get those roots established, and then they'll be okay. They do love wet areas. So maybe you have an area where you have irrigation going and water pools up. I don't know, whatever the case may be. But if you have an area that tends to stay wet, then the summerifics are going to be a, um, a really great choice for you. All right, so the buy one, get one freeze. So that includes all the grandes, right? So we've got a couple of the saffron finches here. We have got the super tunia blue skies, which is really fun. This is not a new petunia, but it is a newer one as far as for us, what we are carrying. And it has been really popular. It was, we brought it in later. We're growing it later. And so um, you've got all those. It is a great time to add petunias. You know, July 4th is coming up. You need some blue in your life. You have got the Blue My Mind XL. This is that Evovulus. It loves the heat, y'all. It thrives in hot, hot conditions. Get that in the ground. 
in a pot, very nice, low growing, as is the portulaca, right? So if July 4th is coming up, maybe you're having some guests over, maybe you wanna do something a little patriotic, right? Freshen up some containers, this is a great time to do it. If you, uh, maybe, maybe, you, maybe you had a container in the spring and you went on vacation and it perished while you were gone. Great time to come in here, freshen up your containers, freshen up your landscape, you absolutely can be adding annuals to your garden. Again, just watch the water, right? If it's not raining, you don't have irrigation, get them established and they will be great. So the pork stilacas, again, love, love the heat. They're currently closed because those blooms open and close with the sun. You've got all your petunias, right? You've got the beautiful black cherry again with that red. You have got Supertunia Vista Paradise. We talked about that mini Vista Indigo. You've got that persimmon. We have the, I think this is Royal Velvet. Yep. Royal Velvet. This is what I'm talking about. If you put Royal Velvet underneath some of that Tuscan gold, that would be a stunning combination. It would just be lovely together. And then one of the, my favorites, this is the Super Bells. This is the pink, uh, pink, the Super Bells Prism Pink Lemonade. This is the one that kind of changes colors. All this buy one, get one free. And now I know it's late. I, you know, life happens y'all. The new, I don't even have this in a container. I don't even have this in my landscape. So this is new this year uh, with Proven Winners. This is a beautiful foliage plant and this is called Angel Wings. And Angel Wings is, um, I think they, the common name is like sea cabbage. Um, this is going to be a foliage plant only, 10 to 13, 12 to 13 inches tall. And you're gonna space it out so it's gonna get nice and wide great for containers. You can pair this with, I don't know, anything of a contrasting color. Beautiful. Y'all, a lot of people were asking this in the spring. Spring was nuts. We got late potting it up. It is ready now. So here you go. You've got that. Do I? No, no, there was a supply issue. And so anyway, but I'm just saying better late than never, right? So there you go. Now, caladiums are gonna be part of the buy one, get one free. Now you will notice, um, or if you've been here to the nursery before, right? So we have got the caladiums are gonna be in these eight inch containers and then your annuals are in the grande containers. This is gonna be a little bit more expensive than your grande. So your buy one, get one free is the equal, you know, equal or lesser value. So if you're gonna buy one caladium like this, like if you're gonna buy one caladium like this, then guess what? You need to get another caladium the same size to get one free, right? So if you buy one caladium, if you only buy one, you're gonna pay full price. Go back get another one. It can be a different color, totally fine, but you need it to have the same size so that you get that other one free. All right. So just keep that in mind. Same sizes, right? The same sizes are the buy one, get one free. You can mix and match the varieties and the colors and the plants. I don't care. Pot size. Look at the pot size, my friends. Um, so you've got tons of different uh, caladiums. You still have salvias. Salvias are wonderful to go ahead and add. You put this in your landscape right now, give it a little shot of water, give it that full sun, they're gonna explode right before your very eyes. We have got the uh, fuchsias, the dark purple, we have got playing the blues, we've got blue suede shoes. You know it. Do what? The new one. The new one? Oh, the unplugged blue. Yes, thank you, sorry. So we had the unplugged so blue. Again, not new, new, right? But it's new for us here at the garden center. So we have got the unplugged so blue. I want to add some of these to my garden. I don't have these in the garden yet. So I'm thinking how, how beautiful, just for a second, I'm sorry. Um, you take this and then you take angel wings together. Look at that beautiful combination, right? Would be stunning, very cool colors, even though it's hot outside you put these together it has a very cooling effect on them um, on your landscape this would be a landscape you could put in a container you name it it would be a beautiful combination note to self we might be doing that um, so again yeah lots of options for you to try with the caladiums we also do have some still that are in the court containers right 
So again, if you buy one caladium in a quart, go ahead and come over and grab another caladium that's in a quart. Same size is the buy one, get one free. All right, very, very simple. Hopefully this should not be confusing whatsoever. But you have lots of different options as far as your caladiums and they will do sun or shade. Look at your tag. There's a couple of them that are gonna be shade only, but the vast majority of your caladiums are going to be sun or shade. Y'all, put this in a container, put this in the landscape, put this in a hanging basket. I did right before the signature experience, there was, I had two urns beside the garage and it was Feather Falls grass. Feather Falls was just not doing great because it had outgrown the pot and I couldn't keep enough water on it. I wanted those pots to look fresh. I grabbed some caladiums, popped them in there like two, three days before the signature experience. In that short amount of time, they filled in and are growing gorgeous. If you want a uh, low maintenance, high performing plant, caladiums is where it is at y'all. I'm telling you, um, I have friends who are not gardeners. They want something beautiful and showy. They do the caladiums and they love it because it is a beautiful display, low maintenance. Throw some water on it, call it a day. You will be good to go. Um, pentas. I'm trying to think of all like the hot weather plants, which is there's tons in here. The grasses, right? Again, buy one, get one free. So buy one annual grass in a gallon, then you get another one for free. We have, um, they're outside, but we've got like fireworks. This is Skyrocket. You can mix and match, right? Does not matter. Um, this is stunning. You have got, look at this display. CC has done. You've got echinacea, you've got caladiums, you have got grasses together. You have got the euphorbia. Beautiful combination, y'all. Absolutely beautiful stunning very light very airy lovely lantanas get the lantanas in the ground in your containers it is going to go all the way through the fall and it will be um, a lovely display of color pollinators that will be attracted this is lemon tart the brighter yellow and then like i said the pentas pentas thrive in the heat and humidity butterflies come like crazy to these Sweet potato vines, like y'all, I just can go on and on and on. Tons of beautiful options for you to add to the heat of the summer in your garden, whether you want flowers, you want foliage, you name it. There is something here for everybody. We've got more outside. Um, just, you wanna go outside? Let's go outside. Um, so we have got, of course, more like echinaceas, uh, phloxes, this whole table, right? All these tables right here are your annuals, talking about the different grasses and vermilionaire. Just a great display. You will see also that we have um, went ahead and created some hanging baskets with the caladiums. That way you can see what it looks like. We just potted these up last week. So they are filling in and um, doing quite lovely. Talking about that nephophia, right? So we have all sorts of different colors for you whether you want the back draft, which is what we have in the display garden, or you want orange blaze, or you want rockets red glare, you name it, we have it here for you. And um, yeah, do dodging the spider webs. This is one of my favorite echinaceas. This is one in a melon. Look at this, y'all. This is such a fun echinacea. This is relatively new on the market in the last couple of years, but one in a melon has gorgeous cantaloupe colored flowers on it that are huge. These are not even as big as they will be when you put them in the landscape, but they will be just, they will fill up your whole hand and they have a beautiful display. And these are gonna be a little bit taller, 24 to 26 inches. So there you go. Um, your agastache would be great to add to your garden. And then we have more echinaceas down here, right? So you've got the sombrero series, nice, big, bold colors, lots of options for you to choose from. So we would love for you to come see us. So the sale starts uh, today, the day that this video is airing. First come, first serve, while supplies last. Again, early bird gets the worm. It's hot, y'all. <laughs> 
get here do yourself a favor get here early if you can wednesday through saturday nine to three we would love to see you uh, but yeah let just let us help you figure out what you need in your garden we would love to assist you in any way that we can buy one get one free on the annuals here at the garden center again online people the, there will be specials headed your way very soon we're just starting it here at the garden center first as always my friends we so appreciate you those of you that are planning on traveling july 4th we will be closed so just for what one day only july 4th we will be closed other than that it's wednesday through saturday 9 to 3. as always we appreciate you y'all have a great day we'll see you in the next video bye guys